traditional Chinese medicine and Western medicine certainly appear uh, orthogonal to one another in many different ways. The holistic approach of, uh, of traditional Chinese medicine vs. the classic reductionistic approach of uh, Western medicine, a focus on wellness as opposed to a focus on disease, thinking about the whole person as the assay system, uh, rather than uh, dealing with populations to discover drugs. Uh, and the nature of the assays that one uses for traditional Chinese medicine, namely the cues that come from the patient, both physical and uh, uh, visual, as opposed to the West's attempt at quantitative assays. And of course there is the traditional empirical approach using mixtures, complex mixtures of compounds as drugs, as opposed to a single drug. And what I'm here to tell you is that there is a new view of medicine emerging in the West. It's uh, quite nascent yet, but I call it systems medicine. And it uh, offers a really interesting bridge uh, to bringing traditional Chinese medicine together with uh, Western medicine. It is uh, both holistic and reductionistic at the same time. And I would argue that the new ideas, the new technologies, and the new computational and mathematical tools offer an enormous opportunity to bring together a convergence between our two types of medicine.